Target announcing today it is giving up some of its office space in downtown Minneapolis. Yeah, the retail giant is moving 3,500 of its workers out of the city center. Fox 9's Mitty Hicks joins us now live from Minneapolis tonight. Mitty, this decision has other businesses in downtown now pretty concerned. That's right. Some businesses downtown are worried that Target's announcement today could have a ripple effect because if more people are working from home, it means less people are walking into these shops and shopping at these local businesses. The Traffic flow downtown is almost non-existent now. Bill Junko says his flower shop was filled with people pre-COVID, getting as much as 40,000 people walking past the store every day. But things are much different, and now he's worried about how business will survive following Target's announcement. That's definitely a blow to us, because uh, when the Target Corporation was there and the people were there, we were probably doing... Uh, 10 to 15 or maybe more uh, deliveries to the, them just by themselves. There are thousands of businesses downtown, but Junko says Target was seen as the leader. So the next concerning question is who will cut back next? It's no doubt a challenge for uh, businesses downtown. Organizations like Greater MSP says it's working to lessen the financial hit these businesses are taking. Right now, Greater MSP is very busy with job expansion and attraction projects. And so we're adding this newly available office space to our list to share with other companies who are looking to grow or enter the MSP market. There's also some hope as entertainment starts up again. As we see that customer base and that spending power they bring with them coming back, you know, that is going to certainly help help the retailers and the, and the restaurants and the bars. Now, Kramer adds there is some hope because of the possibility of fans in person at Target Field and farmers markets are expected to make a comeback. Live in Minneapolis, Mitty Hicks, Fox 9.